Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iPad apps and the best of them that you can get in 2020 for your iPad. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 awesome iPad apps that you must have on your iPad in 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and don't forget to leave a like. Let's get started. Here's a list of my top 10 must have iPad apps for 2020. The first app for the video is called Video Leap and this one allows to edit videos on your iPad. So if you're trying to basically do everything mobile, use your iPad to edit your videos, then this is one of the best apps that you can get. It offers a ton of different features. Most of the features that you can find like on a PC or Mac software that allow you to edit videos. You can see right here, this is like the timeline. You will have the preview of your video right there at the top. Then if you just select a clip, you will have all the different stuff here. You can of course add filters, you can adjust that, change the speed, put it on reverse, change the audio of course, and of course the split, the duplicate and the remove button as well. Now going back here, you will find canvases which allow you to basically put your video in different formats, then you can add the mixer. Basically with mixer, you can add another clip here, like mix two videos, like picture in picture and all that. Then you will have the text, you will have the ability to add text on the video. You can of course add stickers as well. Then you can do a voiceover, add filters, add effects and all that stuff. Now, most of the features on the app are free and there are a few of them that you need to pay for. So you need to pay a subscription if you want to get all the pro features of the app. Now, once you're done, you tap the export button right there at the top and you will be able to select here the resolution and also the frames per second, which you want to apply to these videos then just tap on photos right there and you can save that to the photo library of your iPad. The next one is called Spark Post and this one is from Adobe. It allows you to create like beautiful posts for your social media, like create different like posts here. You can see from different templates, you can also create like posters and all that. So you will have different templates right here and different categories to choose right there at the top. Now you can notice these ones that have like that yellow badge, they are premium and you will have to pay for them. But of course you will get a lot of them right here that are totally free. So all you gotta do is just go to one of them and then from here you can remix this template. So tap right there, you can add your own pictures of course. So just go ahead and add a picture simply by tapping right there. And once you have added your own picture, you can of course pin it to the background or just move it anywhere freely here. And you can of course edit all the text and everything that is here and customize it the way you want, add your text, add everything you want, and then have that awesome like poster to put on your social media. So this is pretty, pretty awesome. And of course, as I said, a lot of the features are free. There are some paid ones of course, but most of them are free. The next app for the video is called Amount. Now this one is very, very useful. It allows us to basically convert every unit or everything you can think of right here on the app. So right here on the left side, you will have every like different unit, different things that you can convert from the angles to area to clothing, clothing size, then you will have data, energy, everything right here, power, pressure, speed, everything you want. So you can see here the different units that you can convert. And of course you go ahead and select one of them and then just add the amount here that you want to convert and just tap right there. And you can see on like different units, how that will convert the amount that you have added. So very, very useful, any amount that you want can be converted. And right here on the right side, you will also have the history of all the conversions that you have done. Now, when it comes to weather apps, of course, there are a ton of them on the app store. Then this one is one of my favorites. It's called My Weather. You can see the UI is pretty beautiful. Right here on the left side, you will have different cities, which of course you can add or remove and you can have your location as well. Then here you will have the weather forecast. So you will see the current forecast right there with that beautiful animation. Then you see here the weather forecast for tomorrow. Lower here, you will see the weather forecast for the week. And then if you go here, you will see the hourly forecast for today and then for tomorrow here. And then you will have a more detailed forecast 
for all the day right here for your city of course and then you will have the same for tomorrow as well so hourly forecast for today and tomorrow and as i said right here on the left side you can pick any city you want or you can go ahead and tap here to add new cities or remove the current ones next up is basically an educational app called word reference and what this does it allows you to get like definitions of any word that you want so right here if you go to the left side you will have all the dictionaries so you can choose between different dictionaries from different languages not just english you can see you have a ton here and then you will have your recent searches and your favorites as well so if you search for a word you can see here it will show you the definition of that word how that word is used and everything you want to know right here so you will get details for any word that you want now this is very very useful especially for students and stuff like that and then you can of course play that word and see basically listen how that's spelled so anything any word you can think of that you want to know the definition of and how it's used and all that you can go ahead and search here and as i said in different dictionaries not just on english of course you want your ipad to look beautiful and have some really nice wallpapers on your ipad and you can do that with paper co this is one of the best wallpaper apps that you can get on the app store for your ipad or even your iphone so this is the home screen of the app right here where you will see like new wallpapers you can switch here between new and random as well so if you go to one of the wallpapers you can just tap right here to see how that will look on the home screen and lock screen of your device you can tap that arrow right there if you want to save it now if you go on the left side right here you will have the new the best the, your favorites and as well as all the different categories right here that of course you can go ahead and explore so you want to go to one of the categories and just tap right there and you can see some really really beautiful wallpapers right here that you can download for your ipad of course for free so paper co easily one of the best wallpaper apps that you can get for your ipad or your iphone next up we have an app from google it's called socratic this one is also an educational app and it is really really cool of course the app is free so once you open it you will get here your camera so basically it allows you to scan like any question that you have with your camera and then it will find the answers for you so right here let's just go ahead and try an example here so you can see this is how you basically scan like an exam or something and then you can just go ahead and select basically the question that you want to get answer for get tap the go button right there and you can see now it will find the answer and all like the different explanaries q a's and all that so you can see right here this is the result that we got you can see here the q a the explanaries and of course you will also like get related videos to that which of course will explain more in detail about the question that you have and then here have more from web now on the home screen here without scanning any pictures you can just swipe like this and it will show you like different categories of things that you can learn like from chemistry to biology physics you have here poetry drama everything that you want to learn you can basically go ahead and find here so let's go to u.s history and you can see here different things that you can learn about the u.s history you tap right there and you can see it will show you different articles that of course will help you learn a lot through your ipad the next app for the video is called Papago and this app allows you to translate anything you want. Easily you can translate using your voice, you can translate a conversation or you can translate text that is on an image. Right there at the top you can choose of course the languages which you want to translate to and which you want to translate from and you can add any text that you want to translate right there or you can use your voice. Hello. And just like that you can see as easy as that it will translate anything you want not just that it will also speak the words that you translate in order for you to hear how that word is said on that language that you translate to the next app for the video is called pocket now what this app does it allows you to easily like save any websites or any articles from online 
to pocket so that you can read them even if your device is not connected to the internet. So when you're on a website or somewhere, all you gotta do is just tap the share button and from here, just go ahead, find pocket, tap on pocket right there and you're good to go. That will be saved on this app. So when you go to pocket right here, you will have basically all the articles that you have saved. So you wanna go ahead and read one of them. All you gotta do is just tap on it and it will show you right here anything you need about that article. Of course, it will add like this reading view and it will have the article saved there. And even if your device is not connected to the internet, you can still go ahead and read that article using Pocket. And last but not least is Calculator Pro. This is a calculator app for the iPad. Now, I don't know why, but Apple still hasn't decided to add a calculator to the iPad, so you need to download one from the App Store. And this is easily one of the best that you can get. So this is the calculator right here. And if you tap right there, you can go to the conversion mode, which allows you to convert like different currencies. So you can see right here, we have US dollars and euros as well. You can tap right there and you can choose between different like other currencies that you want to you might want to convert using this app so money conversion and calculator both on the same app so that is it for this video guys these are my top 10 must have ipad apps for 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed the apps if you want to download them make sure you go ahead and check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one